Hello, I'm Julian Fellows, and welcome to my first Fireside Chat. To celebrate the upcoming release of Downton Abbey, A New Era, I'm sitting down with members of the cast in this new series dedicated to talking about all things Downton with you. Joining me today to discuss the origins of Downton Abbey is the Earl of Grantham himself, Hugh Bonneville. Ta-da! So this is the origin story, is it? It's the origins one. <laughs> this one's the origin. Okay, well, let's go back to the, uh, to the very beginning. Now, am I right? Perhaps you could tell the story, which I've heard before, but perhaps uh, your viewers and listeners haven't, uh, about how the show actually came about. Uh, how I got interested in the idea was really a long process over the years, really. I remember one time when I was about 18 or 19, something like that, I was staying in a rather grand house uh, and in Cheshire, and I was, there was a lunch party and, uh, you know, all that dining room humming. I went past this staircase and I heard this row coming from the kitchen. And there was all these people talking in the dining room and there were all these people talking downstairs in the kitchen. And I had this flash of the fact that there were two lives going on in this house and two groups of participants and all their experiences were different. Uh, and I was fascinated by that. Of mm. course, you know, 30 years earlier, it would have been a very ordinary thing, but by the late 60s, it wasn't very ordinary. Mm. Mm. And, and that, haunted, that stayed with me. I didn't immediately think, oh, I must go and write a film, but um, it, it, it stayed with me as a kind of notion mm. of these separate worlds under one roof, a kind of workplace drama, I suppose you'd call it now. But you also, uh, from a sort of technical and practical, dramatic point of view, you talked, haven't you, in the past about how that country house world is one of the few legitimate precincts uh, that you can see a cross-section of society. So from a narrative point of view, it really serves a writer well, doesn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, precincts is always quite difficult because you, you're almost always stuck with either health or police. In a hospital drama, you know, everyone's got to have something wrong with them. Uh, and in a police drama, everyone's got to break the law. So, so what the, the servant thing gave is that none of these people had done anything wrong, but they had completely contrasting origins and they were conditioned completely differently. So how meticulous was the casting process for you? Oh, well, I think we knew we were going to sink or swim on the basis of the cast we could attract. I think we knew that there were certain parts that, that would be our starting point. You know, Violet Grantham was pretty uh, early because if we could attract Maggie into doing her first uh, open-ended series, I mean, she'd done sort of terribly smart television with Polyakov and that kind of thing, but she'd never done a popular series that just went on and on and on and on. <laughs> of course, she was marvellous and she came on board and then by the time you'd come on board you just started to get this feeling this is a show people want to be in. What is it about the Crawleys and, and, and the characters in general that have, have resonated so strongly for so many people? I don't really know the answer. I think it's most of the characters are decent people trying to do their best and the feeling of the show is a positive one. There are very few that you dislike, and even the ones you dislike, uh, what I have hoped to do is to explain their predicaments so that it, it's not so simple to dislike them when you get hold of all the facts. Uh, and uh, that was quite deliberate. I think the interrelationship of them is attractive, that they're all interdependent. This way of life was an interdependent way of life. Uh, and it, it, you couldn't just go off and live it in a room. That's not how it was. Uh, I think that's quite attractive. We touched on some kind of diurnal truths of being alive and getting through being alive uh, that had relevance all over the world where that way of life was not particularly known at all. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Hugh. You. Uh, you were very good sport. <laughs> uh, next week, We'll discuss the history behind your favourite storylines in Downton Abbey and reveal more of what's to come in Downton Abbey, A New Era.